Coming up on today's show, I'm going to be discussing uh, the reignitement of the link of Dan Juma to West Ham. Interest uh, in Lorient striker Moffi and could Mamo Lanzini be out of the door? All of that is coming up on today's West Ham Transfer News show right here on West Ham Unofficial. We're going to start then with uh, West Ham that are interested, um, according to XWSU employee, uh, in bringing in Lorient striker Teran Moffi and bringing him to East London this January. Of course, the club have explored the option of Yusuf and Nezri of Sevilla, which we talked about a couple of days ago right here on the West Ham Transfer News show. But however, the player has decided to remain in Spain despite a loan deal being reached between the clubs. West Ham have a firm interest in Moffi also and are now set to ramp up interest and explore the possibility of the Nigerian joining in the club. As reported by X, David Moyes is a big admirer of the striker who has bagged 10 goals in all competitions already this season. Um, according to X as well, um, of course, West Ham's new um, football director, Mark Noble, is said to want him, which could add further notation um, that um, um, that could mean that West Ham could move for Moffy uh, very, very shortly. As reported previously, the club have, um, have already inquired about the player with X stating his agent is pushing for a move to the Premier League. Southampton are also interested in the forward, however, they have seen a bid rejected, which adds some more urgency to a situation. So overall, the sort of um, you know feeling with it is, Southampton are interested in this Terra Moffi um, of Lorient uh, and so are we. We've came in, we've tried our first option of Yusuf and Nezri. He said, no, I don't want to come. We've went, right, fair enough, OK. And we've moved on to um, a player that's um, a huge admirer um, of David Moyes and Mark Noble, which is two very, very important pl- uh, people um, at the club currently. So, um, you know, I wouldn't be at all surprised if this goes through and especially, of course, with the, with the rumours of um, Mikel Antonio being unhappy at the club and wanting to uh, make a move and of course with the link uh, of him going to Wolves that has really um, you know come to the surface over the last few days so that it could be more of like a sort of a sweet um, a straight swap replacement in that sense we could bring in this Moffy who's um, started really really well um, um, in his league with Lorien and um, and then said Antonio to Wolves or whoever um, or whoever um, you know will take him for you know the sort of amount of money that we want uh, for him so yeah that wouldn't surprise me at all but also one player that we are revisiting uh, is uh, our now Dan Juma as you remember him so he was a West Ham target last summer and is now available on a loan this January so there was serious interest from David Moyes in previous transfer windows although doubts from the boss were around whether the player was um, um, would be a good personality in the dressing room a stance that disappointed the um, a stance that disappointed the Dutch international representatives. So he is currently, um, as far as I'm aware, at Villarreal. We were very close, I believe, to signing him uh, in that summer transfer window. But Moyes, um, as um, as it says on that article there, just wasn't quite sure on his sort of temperament and uh, personality and whether that would damage the dressing room at the time. But Moyes is sort of uh, looks like um, he's put that to the side and he's now sort of consolidated his firm interest in uh, in our now Dan Juma. So whether at this stage Dan Juma and his team are willing to let that opinion be forgotten remains to be seen. As it appears now, the option to bring the winger to East London could be ideal for all parties. West Ham in the summer opted to sign Maxwell Corne instead and unfortunately a long-term calf injury um, has put him out for a long, long time. X has confirmed that an agreement could be ideal for the club, however did stress that com- um, that, that comp- Competition is likely for his signature with a move to the Premier League looking likely. And of course, some people have not ru- um, not not ruled out him perhaps going back to Bournemouth, where uh, where where he has played in the Premier League previously. My sort of opinion is, I think he'd be I think he'd be a good player, but I'm not quite sure where he's fitting in here because he's another one of those sort of corne four now, one of those sort of winger players and. As far as I'm aware, I'm not really sure we need another one of them four nows. You can add that. There's plenty of them. Ben Rama. I'm not really sure we sort of need that sort of player right now. I can be more focusing on maybe bringing in, bring in another centre-half with what it looks like Dawson going out of the door, maybe bringing in another full-back and maybe a midfielder. But I'm not sure on a sort of winger because of the amount of depth we've got there, unless we're planning to let 
one or two go, or, or or we're just not having any faith in Maxwell Cornet coming back anytime soon. It's a little bit of a peculiar one, in my opinion. I think he's a good player, don't get me wrong, but it would surprise me if we signed him. Yes, he's probably proven. I'm not I'm not at all doubting his ability. I think he'd be a good player, but I'm not quite sure where he gets game time. And of course, that's what he'll want game time desperately. And I'm not sure when he's getting it, and I'm not sure what sort of what he'll what he what he'll add to the side with the amount of wingers we've currently got there. That is my personal opinion. What do you think? Put it in the comment section down below. Low. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Of course, of course, alone, there's not much risk there. So we're not playing an upfront fee. So that would make more sense if we could sign him on a loan, which we also opted for um, for Yusuf and Nesri. So that might be the sort of road we're trying to go down in this January transfer window. So I've talked about uh, two potential incomings. Let's talk about an outgoing. And so it's a player that many people have linked with a move away. And I've, and, and I've sort of said it wouldn't surprise me if this player moves away. It's, of course, uh, the Argentinian Manuel Lanzini, a player that's been at the club for around seven or eight years now. He's been a a real long servant to the club and yeah um he's been a fantastic player but i do personally think his time might be up in east london the hammers number 10 has been a mainstay in claret and blue since arriving in 2015 which is a massive uh eight years ago now um so you know he's been at west Ham for a long time um you know despite making a full recovery from from that massive injury he had uh, a few years ago lanzini has never really recaptured that form uh that we saw um uh, you know a few years ago before he picked up that injury the player um is still highly regarded at west Ham and won um, that the club would be keen to keep on. However, it is reported by X previously and um, that and um, that you know it would be likely if an offer of a lesser wage with the player currently commanding 70 grand a week. And and of course there's reports as well that he's you know just turned um 30 um in um in in just over a month's time. Maybe is it now the right time for him to move on and go, I've done my time at West Ham and fair play, he's been a brilliant servant to the club. Don't get me wrong. But I do think now might be the time uh, to say goodbye. Maybe it's a Lanzini to go. Maybe a Dan Juma to come in. Maybe that's Moyes is thinking there. Uh, I'm not sure, but it would make sense, um, you know, for him to make a move away from West Ham because he's not going to get the game time he wants. You know, his career is, you know, diminishing uh, before his eyes. Thirty years old. Uh, you know, he hasn't got that many years left in him, and he'll want to be playing first team football. And we just can't offer him that at West Ham. You know, the way he's playing, and um, he's just not quite up to the standard that other players we have there has got. And you know, that's no offence to him. And um, and of course, with reports that he's slightly unhappy with, you know, the sort of role he's playing at West Ham. I think it would be best for all parties if we could make an agreement with the club um, and let him go elsewhere and go. Thank you very much, Manu. You've been an amazing servant for the club. So that's our transfer news show done for today. We've talked um, about interest in Terra Moffi. Could he be the striker that could replace Mikel Antonio? We've talked about Dan Juma, um, our sort of new interest and re-emerging interest uh, in Dan Juma, this time uh, on a loan basis, maybe to um, may maybe to replace a player like Manuel Lanzini, who we've discussed could leave the club in this January transfer window. Put your thoughts in the comment section down below. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to West Ham Unofficial if you're new. Thank you very much for watching. That's it for me. As I said, put all of your thoughts in to that comment section down below. And of course, uh, we've got some very important Premier League games coming up. So there's content uh, coming out uh, about that, of course, on the channel. So go and check out the rest of our content. That's it from me. I've been Jake from West Ham Official, and we'll catch you soon. Thank you very much. Um, bye bye.